Hey guys, welcome back for another week where we're working on our uh, ring binder style journal that is inspired by blue dishware and blue china. So at the end of last week, I told you that I was gonna go through and do some sewing and some other things and rearrange pages. And I have done that, but then I did some more thinking. I, I was looking through here and it was looking more like a recipe binder than a journal. And I had to decide, do I want it to be more of a journal style or do I want it to be more like a recipe keepsake binder like what I just made my daughter? And I really wanted it to be more of a journal. So it was looking a lot too much like a recipe book still. And so I decided to go through today and I have taken out, I don't know if I can get this where you can see it, I've taken out this many more things, quite a lot. So um, most of them are the tabbed dividers, which typically I use to break into sections like signatures, but it was just making it look too much like a cookbook. And because of these section dividers, I was then keeping too many things that were actually recipes. And then I went through and took out any of these pages that really did not look like dishes to me. They were blue but they were not really looking like china patterns. And that was what I was wanting to stay true to. So I took out quite a few more things, but you know, I think it's, I think it's good. So then I had gone through my stash and found a couple more things that are blue inspired. <laughs> uh, these I actually pulled out to do something else. And then I realized, hey, those are blue and they might, might or might not end up working in this journal. So I have these out, and then I remembered I had ordered these beautiful um, crochet doilies from Celeste at Woodland Inspired. Hey, Celeste! And um, I will show this to you really fast. Not only does she do amazing wizardry with all of her packaging and stuff, but she crochets these flowers uh, by hand herself, and she does them in all kinds of colors. And then you'll notice the embossing on the back of the packaging and just all the little details. And then when I pulled this out today, I realized that this is a mini index card. So of course, we're gonna have to do something fun with that, right? Yeah, so if you haven't checked out Celeste's shop, definitely check it out because she has, she has a lot of things that she makes with uh, die cuts and then that she does by hand. And her packaging is just phenomenal and we all love her for that. And yeah, so I know your, your shop keeps you pretty busy, but um, I know that you also are wanting to really start making journals and Celeste has started her own uh, YouTube channel which is called Woodland Inspired. So that's, go check that out if you haven't and show her some love. Now, I found a couple more lace edges that have the blue color in it that I like. And I went through and I took that one ribbon and I sewed it into a ruffle. But as I'm looking at it, yes, it's blue, but I feel like it's more kind of a farmhouse or farm country style than it is actual blue china, but we'll see. We'll see, we may or may not use little pieces, but I decided to go ahead and pre-cut a big piece of this so that I had it ready. And let's see. Then I was going through and, um, oops, sorry, sorry for the bump. I was going through some other stuff, sorting it out and putting it away. And I forgot I had gotten these at an estate sale back in May, I think. And I have been waiting to share what I found at that estate sale with you <laughs> since May. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? But I know for a fact that I bought these with the idea of using them in this journal. And so I haven't even opened this package. So let's see what we've got, because hopefully some of these can be used. Now this, oh wow, this is really pretty. It's got the flocking on it. That's really nice. So I wanted to make sure I got these out so I could use them and they, they may require a little bit of washing. Here's a brown one, which I won't use in this journal, but I did want to see what was in this pack. So I never find estate sales and I just lucked into this lady's, you know, I happened to catch it like the last 30 minutes and, and then I got on their mailing list. So that was, that was fortuitous. So now I 
can um, check out when they have their estate sales. I, she sends out the notices and some pictures and so far I have not been able to attend any of them because they're not in places or on times that I can get there, but it's good to be on the list. Yeah, um, I don't know if that's a W or an M. That's interesting, it's definitely hand, hand done. It's got a hole in it too. I don't know truthfully that I would use that, but it could be like a nice back for something. There's a lot of blue in this one. Ooh, ooh, yes, 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 yes. I know it's plain, but that definitely has the feeling of, of like a napkin or something. Isn't that neat? It's very lot, very lightweight. I think it's probably just a men's hanky, but uh, it's that's nice. It's got the right color. Here's a pretty red one. Ooh, really nice. I have my mother-in-law's hankies, um, and I will never cut them up, but I have scanned them so that I can um, use them in journals when I finally get my life organized enough to get to that point. <laughs> Just haven't done that yet. And here's the other blue one that I know I purchased it for. Oh, I see, these kind of, these match. So this is the blue version of the red one we just saw. That's cool. So yeah, what I thought we would do today then is go through and I'll show you the changes I made and then we'll identify where we might want to put some stuff. Uh, the sewing I cannot do on camera because it shakes the table too much. So I just do what I can off camera, but at least we can identify what we want to do. So give me just a second, get all this squared away, and then I'll show you what changes I made so far. All right, so I was ruthless, like I said. I went through and removed that first batch of pages and then I removed a second batch of pages. So I think this is about the right size though because in terms of being a journal, you don't want it to have a ton of um, pages, you know, initially so that when they start adding things or gluing things in, they can. Um, this can really expand. And so I always try when I'm putting my journals together to to assemble them with the idea that they need writing space and they need more um, more places to just record thoughts and, and maybe glue things that are special or whatever. So I try not to have too much froofery. That being said, as I was uh, starting to put together some of this, I decided that I would like this to be just kind of dripping with lace and all these pretty handmade things that I've been collecting. So I want it to feel, um, just really have the essence of the blue china, but also have the, a lot of the fabrics and the laces and things and just kind of spill out of the middle of the journal um, onto, onto the surface, you know? So when you're writing, it just feels soft and feminine and I don't know. But I, I definitely want to be incor incorporating more of the handmade pieces. So that's one thing we're going to try to figure out today. So I did sew where I could so far. And some of that, some of those places meant that I just backed two pages together. So even though I don't want this to be necessarily a cookbook, I did keep this so that you could tell that's what inspired or what's that's what the base for this journal is. But that's, once there's a tag and stuff in here, I'm also gonna, when I'm finished, I also want to go through and trim out then some of these spots with uh, fabric scraps and things. And um, this will look less like the meat page of a cookbook. <laughs> and more like a pretty blue blue journal, okay? So I did keep some of the cookbook pages that I really thought added to it and also added to the vintage feel. And then I basically moved it stuff around probably three or four different times till it felt like it, it made sense as I flipped through it. On these kinds of pages here, I have not glued these down yet into pockets. I may still want some to be flip outs and I may want some to be pockets, but I didn't know if I wanted to sew or glue or add something first. So I haven't, haven't committed yet to what to do to those. So here's our first one. I wanted to take um, this index divider page. We're gonna cover the back, but I want to have this belly, either as a belly band or as a, pocket along the side and, and this wallpaper strip 
needs to be reinforced. So let's start with that. And did I think about what I wanted to reinforce it with? No, I did not. So what do I want to reinforce it with? I could reinforce it with some cardstock. That card would be good. The other thing I want to do today is I have places where I want to do some stenciling. And so we're going to add some stenciling and things like that. So, okay, first and foremost, let's... Let's get in frame, first and foremost. First and foremost, let's figure out how long this needs to be. Yeah, so things are hopping, moving right along. I'm going to trim really fast. We had the photographer come this week to take final pictures of our house so that it can go on the website for the for the contractor and, and that was exciting. Oh, I made that the size of the book page. I need to make it the width of the the width of the actual wallpaper. Yeah, so I got everything all cleaned and beautiful for that, and that was fun. So I'm looking forward to that. And that means that the before and after video will be going up <clears throat> the before and after video will be going up the Saturday after you see this video. Okay, so I think that's the 22nd. Uh, I didn't want to make it like a, a just a weekly video because there's other stuff I'd rather do for that. But um, I did want to get it up and out there so you all could look at it. So it, it will be ready to go. It will be its own thing. So look for that to publish on the 22nd. Now that's the short version. That's me going through and showing you all the before and me going through and showing you the after, but none of the process. Those are still being edited because um, the first video all by itself is um, like so far, it's an hour and a half long and I'm only on week three. <laughs> so those are going to take a little more editing, but those are not going up on this channel as, as we've talked about before. So yeah. Now the reason I am reinforcing this is because it is wallpaper and as you're sliding things in and out, I think it will tear. So I want this to be good and sturdy so that when it gets used over time, it uh, holds up. It's very thick, but also not so thick that I can't, um, I can't sew through it, you know? I re-wetted my rag, but I think I got it a little too wet. It's very handy for, very handy for getting the glue off of there. So I have a very wet, wet wipe right now. And then I have a different rag for wiping off what I just wiped with the wet wipe. <laughs> yep. Okay. So let's... Oh, scissors. I also went through and got out a bunch of different blue stamp pads because I thought it would be nice to do in, any stamping that I do in here in blue tones instead of in black or brown ink. I got out a bunch of blue inks and then I also got out um, just one, the vintage photo pad only because I think there may be a few things that I do want to uh, stencil or whatever in, in the vintage photo. And then I did want to add one page from my Sears and Roebuck. Um, catalog. The, it's the reproduction one that they did in the 70s of the 18, I think it was the 1890s version or something. Anyway, I thought that would be a nice little addition to this, so I have to figure out where I want to put that, and I have to go get it out. So, what I'm thinking is that this will go right along here, and I, I think I would like to cover these up, but I haven't quite decided how I want to do that yet, so... Um, I'll have to give that a little bit more thought. So if it's just a belly band, I mean, that would be a really 
deep belly band. So I really think this should just be sewn on here as a deep pocket. So the question is, do we want the pretty border out towards the tab side or towards the towards the inside by the rings? And I think we want it, see if I do it this way, the flowers look upside down. You see that? Do you see that problem I'm having? I mean, I guess I could put it on this side, but I would want to cover the back with something. And then um, I could do the pretty, I wanted to do fabric on the opposite side, so I could do fabric on this side. It's just that I really liked this brings out the yellow. Decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions, I think. Really, I do like it here. I'm going to put it with the decorative side that way, just so my flowers go up. And at the end of the day, I don't think, I think life is going to go on. <laughs> All right, so what do we want to cover this with? I definitely wanted um, a fabric element. So let's see what we've got and what do we want to do with it. Not the doily. I think I'm kind of holding this one out because I may end up making it its own page in the journal. I think that would be really pretty to just um, put holes in it and maybe wrap it around something and have it in here like this. So this one I'm reserving. And then also I have to figure out if I'm using fabric, how am I gonna attach that? Now I have these guys that I was going to make pockets out of, so I still have to keep that in mind. What are you gonna be opposite? Okay, it's just opposite a recipe page, so. that. Ooh, I like this one, I think. This is the one I think I want, so I'm going to have to cut it. We're going to cry just a little bit. Um, I like the sheet, but I am realizing it is very thin, and so it's. I have to be careful where I'm going to put that because it's going to show whatever's underneath is going to show through it, so that's not going to work for this one. I'm going to use this one. I guess that's still showing through it, isn't it? But not as much, like once I sew this on, I guess I could glue a piece of paper down or, or I could sew this to some plain white paper and then glue it down. Hmm. <laughs> or, more ores. I can put this down in the background and then put a pocket or something over it. I have these two pockets, remember, that I haven't haven't done anything with. This one's kind of big, so I can't put it widthwise on the page. It's a little too wide, but I could put it this way. But see how that it obscures the beautiful handiwork here. Actually, I think. Oh, you know what I should do? Mm -hmm. Let's play with some more paint. Yeah, let's do. Let's play with some more paint because spilling gold paint on my outfit wasn't traumatic enough. I need to probably spill some gesso on myself too. <laughs> oh, I'm at it. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, where's my little mat thingamajiggy? I'm not prepared, am I? I thought I was, but then again, I didn't allow for creative inspiration, which is just pretty much the way I roll. So this mat right here is the one that, um, the one that um, I very first started crafting with. Sorry, I was looking for my lid because I just realized if I'm not gonna glue right now, I want my glue sitting upside down over there. Yeah, so this is the one that I used very first for years and years. Okay, this one, the lid is definitely on. <laughs> shake with abandon. All right. Um, oh, this does pop up. Yeah, I, I went ahead and wrote myself a little note on that other one because it says, lid is broken, do not shake. So I learned my lesson. Okay. I don't know why I always forget that I can paint things, but I do. Oops. I don't think it has to be too precise or too pretty because honestly, 
it's just going to get covered over with this fabric. So if I do a rather thin coat, whoop, I have to hold on to it a little bit. If I do kind of a thin coat, it should dry pretty fast. Alrighty, I think what I'll do is I'm going to mark the spot with that belly band as soon as I remember where I put it. Okay, there it is. I'm going to mark that page spot. I'm going to fold this up and set it there as well. And we're going to set this bad boy over to dry. And I'm going to wipe that up because I do not want white on the back side. You don't want white to get on the back side of this, so I'm going to wipe this up like, like I did right there, see? Okay, oh, I got it on me. Now, I need about three more hands here. dry already, isn't it? There we go. That'll work. Okay, problem solved. You know, just gotta, gotta get into the creative groove, you know? Get into the flow. I've just been doing little things today in my craft room, just working a little bit here and there and kind of looking over things and evaluating and uh, how I want to put this together and different things playing with some other stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. It's going to curl. Next. Next, we would like to, okay. I'm gonna set this and this right here for now. Goodness, I'm like, 14 minutes left and I haven't really done anything. Terrible, terrible. Let's get on to some stenciling or something. Oh, I was going to show you this too. So I decorated this envelope and just sewed around this page and backed it on some fabric and layered it up. There's, there's um, Celeste's really pretty, pretty little crochet doily. So I will come back and put something here that this can tuck into and figure out how to decorate the back side, but I, I don't have a clear idea yet of what I want to do. Okay, this one, I wanted to use some spray adhesive and spray the wrapping paper. I have not done that yet because <laughs> I haven't quite figured out where I'm gonna do it. It's freezing outside. It's in the 20s and 30s outside and it's just slightly warmer than that inside my garage, but I'm gonna have to go out in the garage and do it. So I, had, I wanted to identify all the places that I was gonna do that with first before I went out and did that. Okay, this one I have sew as a pocket and decorate the pocket first. So the embellishing decorating is gonna be a different video, so we're gonna hold off on that. I know it feels like I'm not doing anything, doesn't it? This one, I still haven't decided, but I may, actually, I wonder if I should put it on this side. I was thinking I would kind of tear this down and sew it onto one side or the other, but I do wanna add writing space on some of these pages that are all decorated up. So I can't, I was just thinking in terms of color, that would look really pretty on that side. So that's that's the plan for that, and I'll probably end up doing that off camera too, because like I said, anything that involves sewing. Every time I hurry, I'm all fumble fingered. Okay, this one, similar idea. I want to, um, I want to cover this side and I'm going to sew this as a top lo loading pocket. So I want to figure out what to cover this with. Now it could be just as simple as this. I have this, if you'll recall, and this has got nice writing space, lined paper, and I can do that, or I can try to find something else that I want to glue it with. And this might 
or uh, back onto here. This might also be a really good place to do the um, to do the page from the Sears and Roebuck. And then what I was thinking is that I would redo the fold right here and bring it in together a little bit more. So that these pages are flush and then sew it together and then repunch the holes. That's my thought there. So do we want to see if we have something we can put behind that? I don't want to use the wrapping paper till I've done the other paper, the other page. That would have been nice to have there. I'm digging. See where's I also went through and divided up all of the elements and said divided up what was going to be tags and ephemera and then um, what I'm going to decorate with and then this is just a blank page that might work I was going to cut these down and maybe make some paper clips and or I could decorate the back of it with this, but I was thinking I'd cut out these girls and decorate tags with them. More things to decorate with. So I have this and I have that. This video may be a bust, it may not get aired. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. So what if... Yeah, that doesn't really do anything, does it? It doesn't cover it enough. Alright, let's look at the wrapping paper. Maybe I do... I do have enough to do both things because this would cover one and this would cover the other. It will be really, really close, but we can do it. It just means I have to be very precise when I, when I spray onto this. I'm going to have to be very precise about where... <clears throat> Um, where I spray and not not overspray, <laughs> not miss the paper. So I like this because I do want it to back this. Yep, let's do that. Otherwise, you guys are going to wonder why you showed up for this video. And you would be right. You'd be totally correct to wonder that. Okay, so this was going back here somewhere okay so question of the day is what do I want to glue it with okay so this is my fold all right I don't want to get the holes I know that sorry if I'm getting quiet I noticed when I was editing last time that I accidentally got quieter. And I don't want to get quieter. I want to stay loud enough. Okay, this is goopy. There we go. This is again the Aileen's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. And I like it because you get a minute to think about, think about where you're gonna um, put things. Now I wanted to maybe wrap around, okay. When I put this together and sew it together, then I'm going to have to punch new holes, and I'm wanting to wrap around a little bit or have something wrap around there to reinforce it. And it might as well be the wrapping paper as anything else, right? So that... Oops. There we go. This would 
wrap around like so. I'll take off my note for a minute, but I think it would be nice to just tack this down just a teensy bit. I don't want a ton of glue where I have to sew, but I'm gonna need something. Oh, and also we need to punch our punch our thumb notch. Which way's up? You are up. this extra crease here so we'll figure out if we want to cover that with something pretty or not because we might we just might so when I sew it I'm gonna sew it from this side up and then I will punch it from the other side and then I like the flower pot side not the bird side then we will put this on there, and I think what I may do on this is sew around it too before I glue it down. So that's that's what I'm gonna do there. So if this is the side with the holes, let's how far do I want to go? Go over about an inch. Give her a good rip. Yeah, that's fine, because you can still see the china cabinet that way then. Do you think that's too much there? Maybe. Maybe a bit too much. Uh, this is probably not going to work. I want my edging scissors. I went out thrifting with my daughter yesterday and I saw a bag with some of these edging scissors in it, but most of them were ones I already had. I would have probably gotten it. But I like these with the giant scallop. They make a really nice edge. And I'm cutting, kind of eyeballing whether or not I'm straight. Ish. There we go. So my friend Kimberly, um, I have not told you guys this yet, but she actually came back. You know, she came in October to visit. Um, middle of October. Well, after my eye thing happened, she wanted to come help. And so she came back the very end of November, 1st of December and helped me get Christmas ready, uh, you know, and helped me get all my Christmas stuff up and out, which was very lovely of her to do. But the reason I'm saying that is she made me this cute little basket here for just putting like all the little pieces in or the little threads or when you're sewing. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so we did all kinds of fun stuff. It was nice, it was nice to have her come back. I, I very selfishly accepted her offer. My whole family was like, why are you letting her come again? I'm like, cause she offered and I felt like she would know if she should or shouldn't do that. Far be it from me to tell her her own business. <laughs> but yeah, that was really nice. So that allowed us to get Christmas decorations up. And then my friend Dion came and helped me get um, stuff up on the walls before Kimberly came and got, get some curtains and things changed out. And then um, then everything was nice and pretty when my kids came to visit then in mid-December. So that was just very, very helpful. And I very, I'm extremely grateful for all of the help. There we go. Okay, so that's what that's gonna look like. Let's, let's punch it. Try not to rest my fingers on the table when I do this. It's a little bit wet, but it will it will get sewn. Did I say my fingers on the table? My elbows on the table. Try not to rest on the table when I punch, okay?
There we go. Now this page is going to come out completely. I just had it there to stick everything to. <laughs> but for right now, this is gonna go back in there. I'm gonna stick my note back on so I can remember to go back and sew. And I've been using white paper clips as my identifier for sewing. But yeah, let's bring this over. See what we got. I may go back and, oops, get over buddy. I may go back and reinforce this, these, we'll see. We'll see if I think it needs it after I sew it. It might not need that. There, now it's its own page. We are gonna run out of time faster than I want. Let's get to some stenciling. Okay, stencil. So the stenciling is nice because it just adds a little decorative element. And I got out some stencils that I thought would be nice. I have a doily and then I have a different plastic doily. And let's see, this is going, this is going to be opposite this. This is kind of plain, so I'm going to stencil in blue. And then I had, I thought I had another one. There's all my other stencils. They ran away. Huh. I guess I decided this is what I want right now. Okay. Well, I think I would like this guy. <sighs> no, I don't because he works better with the brown and my blue um, distress tool doesn't go through here as well as the brown brush. I don't have a brush like this for blue. I only have brown. So I would rather pick a different stencil that I know will work with the blue with the blue distress tool. Okay, so which way was up? That way was up. Alrighty, here we go. I think I'd like to do a little bit like here and here, kind of staggered, so let's try that. I'm gonna do it in this color here. Actually, I can do any shade of blue I want. This is faded jeans, and then I have broken china, which seems very fitting considering this is a, a journal about dishware. So let's do broken china. And let's see what we get. I'll try not to shake the table, but it's somewhat out of my control. <laughs> Luckily, the camera has image stabilizer on it, so. Even if I do jiggle a little bit, it tends to, to, not, to not show through on the video quality, which is very helpful. Thank you, Apple. I think my Canon camera had that on it too. It's funny how technology changes so much. Um, you know, and what was really relevant for a few years is suddenly like obsolete and I don't even use it. Case in point, the Canon camera I was using to record with when I first started this channel is already getting kind of old. But And then the filming speeds, you know, just um, the recommended for high definition is 1080. Um, what's it called? PPS. And um, my old camera was only four something, 480. There's 480, 720, 1080, and I think there's a new one now that's even more clear and precise. That's pretty, isn't it? So my goal is to get it so that you can still write over the stenciling, um, but you still have something pretty to look at on the blank side. So let's talk about, since we're talking about technology, oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? The Zoom Craft Along, I have decided to schedule it, it will definitely be a Wednesday, and um, I know that for some people it was just going to be hard no matter which day, and that's fine. This won't be the only one I do, but this is the first one I want to do. We're going to be working out the kinks, so let's expect that there may be some <laughs> there may be some challenges when I'm trying to figure out how to do it all. But I'm going to do it on January 26th, which is the last Wednesday of the month, so it'll be at noon my time. Um, which will be 11 Pacific, 11, 12, 1 Central, and 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and 7 p.m. in the UK. And um, 
I want to try to go for a couple of hours. I haven't gone on to Zoom yet to see how long how long they'll let me do for the free version. Um, I still have to learn that. So that's a whole, let's go around the edge with it. That's a whole nother learning curve I get to, get to, um, you know, <laughs> I get to go on, I guess. But I mean, it's meant for the average common man to be able to use this. So I'm definitely, I'd like to think I'm above average. So <laughs> I think I should be able to figure it out once I get there, but we'll see. My kids, I think, know how. And I, I know that there's some of you guys that watch that have used Zoom. So you're giving me some good, some good tips and stuff. So I appreciate that because it's going to be very helpful. Okay, so January 26th, the last Wednesday of this month and we will be having our zoom craft along hopefully for two hours and what i'm going to do is put the link the zoom link on the video that airs that day that's my plan and i since i don't know how far along we'll be with this journal it may be like the flip through this journal or i may be working on this journal but i will be putting it in the description box on that that video that's going to air that morning regularly scheduled video and then we'll just do our zoom craft along later in the day and let's see what else and then you'll have your special bonus video this Saturday of Saturday the 22nd of my before and after of our renovation as promised and then the other thing I was thinking um, once I get this journal finished I am going to want someone to be able to purchase it. <laughs> so I'm going to open my shop for about 10 days or so, a week, 10 days. It just depends on when I exactly get this done and the timing. Um, so I'll have my shop open for a little bit and then I will uh, close it so that I have time to get the orders out and stuff before my second eye surgery. So that's my plan there. My plan here is to put a fabric flip and I had these two set aside and as I'm looking at them, neither of them really look like blue china. So I have a couple options. I could do this one and I have that ruffle, that ruffle that I sewed. Where is it? Come here, buddy. It looks a little bit like dishware. But then it's kind of like going across this, so I don't know. I don't know that that looks that great. But truthfully, I am partial to this one. So I am going to go ahead and glue this one down. And then um, I think what I would like is to stamp down here with something. And I'll be, I don't have any stamps out yet because that's going to be a whole nother, whole nother job. <laughs> so, um, I will stamp on it with something in blue. But I think this is a good place for this. And yeah, and then the, uh, there's also gonna be some decorating of the page edges. So I'm definitely gonna have to come back in the next video and show you what else I'm doing once I get some more sewing and stuff, you know, and the stuff that I need to spray once I get that out of the way. Yeah. So I haven't had, um, a lot of feedback but uh, about when I asked you last week about should I continue putting quotes in my videos or not and that's okay I mean I'm just trying to get your ideas but um, I think for now I will continue with them until I feel like I don't I shouldn't or I don't need to anymore so for the time being, I will give you your inspirational quotes at the end of the videos. Let's see, I need my fabric tack. Where are you? Oh. And um, you know what? I've got this doily here and I want to use it somehow. Like I said, I'm just wanting things to like fall out of the journal and there to be lots of lace and prettiness to go with like china good china and dishes and tea and all the pretty things and gardens and i don't know i just wanting it to be very froofy like my daughter says floofy she wants she wants it to be floofy <laughs> so i'm wanting a lot of froofery in my journal but what i'm why i'm saying that is i'm wondering if i would like to 
sew this down first before, I would just cut off a strip and then glue this down. Or is that just going to be way too much? Have I just gone off the deep end with this? Oh, I could do it up here. Let's do it up here. I could sew it up there and then have that peeking out above the fabric flip. This won't all be here. I'm going to cut that off. And then when you raise it up, there will be stamping and um, something pretty under here. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do it. I got some new pinking shears for Christmas. And the crazy thing is, is that <laughs> I had put them on my Amazon wish list and I don't remember doing that and I don't remember why and truth so my mom got these for me she said you know they're for fabric I'm like no they should be for paper <laughs> but I think what happened was I know that hurts me just a little bit to cut into that but it's not the fanciest doily out there truthfully and it's nice to have a little bit of handmade in here uh, I think what I did was I was wanting like a nice big pair of edging scissors, like the ones uh, that Tim Holtz haberdashery scissors. And I think I was trying to put something like that in my in my wish list, and I think I got the um, pinking shears on accident. <laughs> but she bought them for me, and they are really nice. They cut like butter. These are blue snail, and they have that comfort grip. So they're very, very thick but I, I have no recollection of putting these in my, in my, um, on my Amazon wish list. So, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> but thanks, Mom. Yeah, so she, she got me those for Christmas, part of my Christmas present. Let's see if we do it like this. How's that look? I don't know. It's like needs something. Do I want it to go around this way? Do I want it to go around both sides? I don't want to take too long debating over it. That I do know. Well, let's just try it right here for a sec. Just see what we think. Because it could still end up right there. Hmm. I don't know. It's not... It's not doing anything for me. Maybe it's because it's too big. What do you guys think? I think I should double check my other blue things over here and see if there's something that would work better. There's this, but I'm going to edge a page with him. And with him. And with him. <laughs> and probably with him. So, huh, okay, well, that was a bust. I don't know, I just kind of wanted something sticking up up there, and I think I want it underneath the fabric flip, but I have this. I wanted to stick with this color, though. Hmm, huh. I don't know, I don't know, guys. I don't think this is the page for this. I think it may not even be the page for the fabric flip. Maybe the fabric flip isn't big enough. Maybe that's it. You know what I could do? Okay, I have this that's just a scrap. Maybe I don't even like this fabric flip. Maybe I should make a new fabric flip. That, that's a possibility. I'm gonna do Stephanie's trick. Stephanie, copy, paper, scissors. She, very wisely, I might add, just lays down the elements and glues them down one by one. She also, very wisely, has this figured out before she turns on the camera, which I do not. But I have this, where's my other fabric? Well, we can do this. We can do it fast, right? Won't we? This one. Okay, let's do it. There, go back over there. Okay. I'll try not to sigh too much. There's no reason to sigh. Ooh, this is where I could use one of those beautiful hankies. Okay, okay, I feel it. 
the plan is coming together. This is not very straight. Huh. Interesting. Try again. Making sure it's as wide as I want it, because it might not be now. And, okay. I like this one. This is a very big piece of fabric. I haven't got a clue where it came from. Like, I think I thrifted it. I don't think I bought it. I'm just gonna cut a strip. Rip a strip. There we go. Mmm, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, here, you go under there. You go here. I have this piece that was left over from that envelope I did. These are all very long. I will make them smaller in a bit, I promise. I just wanna see how they all look together. I don't like what you're doing. I wish I did, but I do not. Okay. So let's get you, I kind of like it to be a little bit longer, so let's see, seven inches. One, two, mind frame, yep. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's about right, okay. seven inches and then I can make you go like this. I like them to go kind of in opposite directions. Now I had another plan and that was that from the scraps of this um, this journal I wanted to make another smaller blue journal, like a mini size, but since my mini sizes weren't selling, <laughs> I don't know if it's worth doing that or not. What do you guys think? Oh, here, here's the sheet. I mean, you know, it's nice to use up the scraps. It would be like a scrap buster kind of thing. Which way's up? That way. Yeah, it would be like a scrap buster kind of a journal without, um, But it would all be, it would be all the blue stuff. Okay, which way do I want to cut you? Let's try that. Please, please tell me you're going to cut. Okay. Yeah, that was, I was thinking about that today. I was like, oh, because all along I've had this plan that I would make another one, but... <laughs> If nobody wants to buy it, then what's the point? So I don't know, I don't know yet. But it wouldn't be too hard to put together. It would all be, it would be like a mini ring binder, just with three, and it would just be the more compact size. And then I would have to decorate the the binder because it, um, it doesn't look like anything pretty right now. Here we go. What if we do that? Okay. All right, I like that a whole lot better. And then, I can just put a little eensy bit of this. What do you think? I really think I'd like to have it all sewn in one piece though, not I gotta make sure I have enough to do a page. Yeah, I do. Um, I'd like to have it all sewn together and not just glued on there. Just because I like I like how it all 
is nice when it's one piece is why. I was going to point out too, very quickly, that um, another homage to Stephanie. <laughs> when I when I put this pocket in, I was layering up the laces. Can you see what I'm showing you? I layered up the laces on the bottom of this, and this was inspired by her um, recent series doing the fabric uh, shabby chic journals. And so she was layering up some really pretty laces onto tags and things, and I liked that. So I did that here at the bottom. So I wanted to wanted to thank Stephanie for that idea. Yeah. So this video has definitely gone on long enough. So I am going to sign out here. What? Just another little something under there. Yeah. It needs to pop. See that? This lace is weird because they never finished the scallop there. So I'm going to have to do that too. Anywho, I will um, sew this off camera and finish gluing. And then we'll come back in the next episode and continue doing pretty things to our journal. I can't say what because I don't know how far I'm going to get yet. So um, we'll either... We'll either be embellishing pages or making tags and ephemera or, you know, that kind of thing. So I don't want to drag the series on too long, but um, I do want to show you when I'm doing something that's semi-interesting. I hope this was interesting for you. All right. So today's quote I wanted to share with you. Um, my daughter, Camille, is starting a channel. Well, she, she started it like last year, but she hasn't actually had a chance to do much with it so she's she's taking it seriously now and um, of course she has her music channel called Camille Page while her home channel is also called Camille Page <laughs> but um, she's starting a channel about uh, just home life and family and faith and all of those things so um, she did this week's video on setting goals because it was the beginning of the new year and she said something very profound, which I'm sure probably maybe all of you have heard before. You know what? I'm looking at this. I'm fiddling while I talk to you. Uh, maybe you've all heard this before, but I have not heard this quote before. And the quote is, do something today your future self will thank you for. Ooh, I like that better. Look at that. Do something today your future self will thank you for. And so that's given me a lot to think about this week about... What kinds of changes am I wanting to make and what kinds of um, habits am I wanting to build and what will I be thanking myself for in five or ten years down the road or even one year down the road that I'm, I'm going to be grateful to my current self for having started now instead of procrastinating. All right, so that is our video for today, folks, and I hope you all are having a great week. We've got so many fun things coming up. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited. And until next time... Be inspired and do something creative today. Talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.